Hi everyone, my name is Pin Chun. Today we are going to talk about a quite sensitive topic which is um, queer strike in Malaysia. As we all know, Malaysia is a rather conservative country because it is very religious motivated. Our society has little tolerance and acceptance towards the queer community and not only that, they are under constant harassment by the authority. So today we are going to talk about what are the rights and limitations of queer people under the Malaysian legal system. We have our guest here, Kayan, who is a practicing lawyer and an activist. Hi everyone, thanks Pinchon for having me. I'm Kayan, a legal practitioner based in Kuala Lumpur and Selangor. I was a student activist during my uni time and I am a constant citizen now. Thanks Kayan. Now, how we are gonna do this is that I will give a statement and Kayan will answer whether it is a fact or not. Right, sure. Okay, the first statement will go if I marry my same-sex partner, police will come after me. Alright, same-sex marriage is not legal in Malaysia. You cannot marry your same-sex partner. So Section 69D of Law Reform Marriage and Divorce Act tells us that a marriage shall be void if the parties are not respectively male and female. But we do not have any law criminalizing gay marriage though. So the logic is simple. Like gay marriage does not exist, so the police could not change after you on something that is not even exist, like fundamentally. So the question is a fact and a myth. I commit an offense for publicly announcing that I'm gay. So if you are no Muslim, you did not break any obvious law by uh, announcing that you are gay publicly. However, if you are a Muslim, the state religious authority might come after you. If someone is so capable and lodge a report against you, you might undergo some counselling and treatment subject to state's policy. But I'm not a Sharia lawyer, so I'm not in a position to elaborate this point further. But having said that, for no Muslim, some will argue that if your public confession sparks controversies, so some might argue that um, the authority can take action against you under section 233 of Communication and Multimedia Act, but that's another discussion. I think the third question will be quite related as well. Cross-dressing in public is an offence. Alright, for again like I mentioned just now, we in Malaysia we do have two legal systems, a secular one and a sharia one. So for us non-Muslim, right, we have cross-dressed like um, in whatever manner that we want. Like me myself, I enjoy dressing as a boy while I have a boy card. But for our Muslim brother and sister, they might get into trouble for cross-dressing in public under a state enacted sharia law. Like for example, no subject is charged by the Islamic state government under section 10 of uh, the state Sharia enactment. The next statement is sexual intercourse between same-sex partner is an offence. Alright, so uh, in Penal Code, section 377A and 377B prohibit carnal intercourse against the order of nature with a penalty of up to 20 years imprisonment and beeping. So if you are a talk you might be convicted uh, under this offence um, if someone lodged a record against you. But for a bottom or for lesbian partner, the section 377D criminalized acts of gross indecency with a penalty of up to two years imprisonment. And like I said just now, this applies equally to both men and women. But we are talking about sexual intercourse with consent in this question. So it's a fact. So the last question will be, the law prohibits sexual reassignment surgery. Alright, so I, I want to share a very interesting fact here. Um, sex reassignment surgery, SRS, was once available in Malaysia, but uh, National Fatwa Council in 1982 had issued a fatwa banning such surgery. So although the fatwa do not have legal authority, so Malaysian doctors have stopped performing such surgery. So while it is legal in Malaysia, we do not have any law covering gender reassignment, I'm talking about non-Muslim, but we do not have uh, medical facilities or we do not have such professional service. So if you want to do a SIS, you can go to OS to perform the surgery for uh, non-Muslim. But for Muslim, yes, it's a crime. Sorry. But an additional one is that will trans people be legally recognized once they have gone through the surgery? So you are talking about a change in gender marker on your IC, right? So uh, Jabatan Pendaftaran Negara had issued an arahan 
which state that the change in gender marker on IC is not allowed except with a court order and there are conditions to be fulfilled. Nonetheless, the courts have issued conflicting opinion as to whether individual who have undergone the surgery can be recognized according to their chosen gender. So it's a case-to-case -case basis. So if you want to do such surgery and you want to change your gender markers in your IC, you may consult a professional lawyer which can provide a comprehensive legal opinion after analyzing your uh, condition and your situation. I think that's all for our video today. We hope that you have more understandings towards the cure rights in Malaysia. And thanks again, Kayan. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.